Good morning, farmers. Sun is almost up. I think it, it's getting ready to come up over there. Uh, <clears throat> it's over way over here now instead of over that part. And that, you know, I, I sun map according to where it is in my yard. And the, <laughs> in the summer, comes up over there. In the winter, comes up even with my neighbor's chimney. I probably shouldn't do that show the houses. Yeah. I think I've done it too many times to worry about it now. We're going to do this today. I am so excited. I'm going to show you that where we are in the this. It's going to start freezing like hard in the next... Uh, I was going to do it last time if you remember. Well, <laughs> I had to look it up. And yesterday I did... Oh, I just love the silo. Look at that when it... The sun comes up. Okay, I... <laughs> I was trying to cut down on that, but I think this is part of my personality or something. Anyway, so the carrots. Uh, it's going to freeze hard all this week, and I'm going to, I have to figure out some way. I want it, and I, if this thing is 15 feet across, right? So I think I can, uh, I, I just don't have the heart to cut it up, man. But. <laughs> It's weathering. It's not weathering very well. The corners of things wearing just surprisingly quick. And of course, those have already popped through. But anyway, I shouldn't smoke pot in the morning. <laughs> I am so excited. That's what it was. I wanted to tell you about this. I wanted to catch up on this, though, really fast. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to edit that out. <laughs> I'm going to add some compost to this today. <laughs> uh, yeah. I found some seeds. I mean, I've been searching for these seeds. Uh, let's tumble these tumbleweeds right back out. They blow in. They can blow right back out. I mean, it's the day after the storm. They're not actually blowing, but... I'm going to dig all this stuff up and uh, add some compost and stuff and get it ready. I'm going to put rhubarb seeds in this part. Fill this up with rhubarb. Uh, asparagus. This is all going to be sorrel. Remember that sorrel right there? Well, those are... I'm going to try and keep those roots okay and just take care of them and... Uh, put more stuff all around here, but today, <clears throat> get all that stuff out, um, I think I'll put, I don't know what I'll put here, but it has, to, maybe I won't put anything right here, I'm gonna need a path, too, to get that, so maybe I'll just right by the fence, make me a little path right there, that's a good idea, I'll put the, the asparagus over here, I've got, I've got some, uh, uh, but I'm using them to hold the roof on the rabbit, the, on the rabbit, so i got to prune down this sage, that's garden sage, I don't know if I told you that, I made a little sage stick, and uh, I was going to smudge the house and stuff, I want to keep these in here, these are those, are these the weeds, yes, these are the wild opium uh, lettuce, there's no opium in it. That's just what they're called because it has that milky substance like opium. But anyway, so this is going to be an annual garden. I'm going to move. Oh, see, I would like to have these in a different place. So in the in the spring, instead of yanking these up, I'm going to I'm just going to leave them right now, and then I will uh, transplant them somewhere in the back so it won't look like it's all weedy. Because you know it is all weedy now, but I've just had so much to do that. Luckily, the city hasn't been on me yet. Well, I, I call them the city, but it's actually, like, the town. But, uh, yeah. So, yesterday also, I, uh, managed to find something I've been looking for for a while. Some Bolivian cucumber seeds. And they are coming. They are in the mail as we speak. And 
I'm gonna plant them here. <laughs> They're perennial, see? And I'm gonna plant, I also, also on its way, are uh, Native American runner beans, which is not Native American as in the people, it's Native American as in uh, indigenous, these plants are indigenous to uh, North America. And they're also perennials. And yes, the Native American people did uh, make use of them. They come back every year at the beginning of the year. They're like sugar snap peas. You know, when the pat, when the they first start going, you can use them for sugar snaps peas. And then uh, when it gets the when the pods get bigger, then you can use them for uh, green beans. And then when they get really big. They're lima beans, but they're really pretty purple, purplish black. So I was like, well, that's awesome. And then, you know, so I'm going to put a trellis over here. Oh. <laughs> and a trellis here. See the, see the bricks here? See? So I'm going to dig all this out over the next bit. Add some of that compost I got back there with the and then in the spring this will be ready to put the trellis in oh i found the coolest video about how to build those trellises so it'll be about the uh, i don't know it should be at least six feet tall but i'm gonna get at least a 20 foot panel so or 22 i think is what they come in i don't know 22 and 25 I bet I can get them in 20s. A cattle panel. And then T-posts. And then we'll have a big ass trellis going over the front walkway. Which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I thought it was awesome. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So that'll be the very first vegetables we put in. That are going to be perennial and come back forever. So, and it'll also make a really cool thing. I could put some wisteria flowers or whatever on there. And, uh, that too. So, yeah, you know, I planted those collard greens way, way, way too early. So, I don't even know if I, if I have to choose between covering up these collard greens and covering up those carrots and... Because the radishes are only a 25-day thing. They'll they'll either come up good. I mean, I put more seed out here. Cause it, but there's a few out here already. They're starting to grow. Oh, and see, there's where the new seed's coming up. I don't know if you can see it. I'll go around. Am I dying to see if any baby... Uh, do you think that's a baby? Or was that already there? See, because those seeds are going to start growing too. So I have to kind of keep track of those. And I have trouble paying attention that way sometimes. Okay, there's a there's a seed. Uh, that's a weed. <laughs> and so far we have one seedling and some weedlings. Seedlings? No. Weedlings, yes. Ah, you little booger. My fingers are starting to get cold. But yeah, I've got to do something with that. I'm going to leave the onions uncovered. But man, I need to cover. I wonder if I could cover up the collards and the carrots and not the. And still have. I wonder. Huh. I'm going to try it with the rabbit cages. I'm just going to use the rabbit cages like them. Just, you know, a little farther this way. Well, the worst thing happens, nothing. Right? Okay. Let's go see what the. I have to. Open them rabbits up. Got to cover up my wrist and my fingers a little bit because my hand was getting cold all night. Kind of. my, the storm, the wind was so bad in that storm. And so I'm all to here. That's almost done. Not completely. There's compost on here and rabbit poop. Composted, mostly composted rabbit poop. Ooh, my fingers are cold. Hi, bunnies. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Bucky. How are you doing, buddy? Hi. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Billy's like, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, she's liking her hand right now. 
She's like, yeah. They get that nighttime hay. <laughs> he ever since I put Mrs. Problem Bunny by him, he's gotten kind of, kind of wildish. Yeah, his his attitude, his hasn't. This one here is awesome. And Mister here. Okay, I'm coming. They all want me and their food and water. But yeah, so I'm gonna move. Uh, I want to move it now, but I'm afraid to do it while there's still three leaves on it. I would rather give it another couple days than move it three days early. Oops, sorry. So, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but hopefully, you now I can get started on that tree structure. The Espelier Living. I just can't find what to call it. It doesn't, nothing really runs, rolls off the tongue. So, <laughs> I'll take suggestions on what to call that thing. It's gonna be like a big living room, but you know, sorta. And I kind of thought of calling it the living room, but it's confusing because I already have two. So, Anyway, thanks farmers. I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta get this on this time because stuff keeps happening. I keep making them and they never get online. So, okay. Talk to you later.